what would you say has been the biggest struggle? You know, if somebody comes to you and they're like, Marshall, I'm really thinking about becoming a real estate agent. What is, what's your advice to them on, uh, you know, pitfalls to avoid and things like that in that first year? Yeah. If, uh, if they have been in sales previously, I just tell them to, you know, get ready, save up some money and let's get into it. If they have no sales experience, I really love it if they would, you know, either go sell, I've been sending people to sell solar panels just because it gets you uncomfortable talking to people. Um, if yeah. you're getting into it with no sales experience, it's tough just because it's an uncomfortable job. And if, if you are okay with being uncomfortable, it makes it that much easier. But yeah, I tell right. people, you know, you need to either have a, a part-time job, you need to either eliminate all of your bills or have six months savings if you're going to get into it. Yeah. I think some people don't understand the the time involved in getting a deal done yeah they're like i'm gonna get into real estate and it's like okay well it's like you've got to go get your license mm -hmm. that's going to take you some time it's mm -hmm. like 60 hours of mandatory like yep. class time and whatever um then on top of that even if you have uh you know your your parents want you to list their house for sale or whatever like you have a clients ready to go it's still going to take time like yeah. you still got to you still got to do all the work like the the time it takes for you to get to a payday can can be a long time oh yeah i mean from the time that i i quit my job in december on kind of a whim i was halfway through real estate school at the time and i didn't see my first check until march um sorry that was from when to when december, december 2021 to march. Yeah. to march 2022 right yeah but yeah. i mean and I, and I came into it, you know, already having a few clients in my pocket just to set that they, you know, they knew I was doing it and, right. you know, they hit me up and I mean, still it was a, three months before I saw anything. Right. The other thing that I, I think people don't understand when they look to become a real estate agent is it's, it's a service industry job and there's a lot of working hours that aren't typical work hours yeah you know like you have clients that can only go view houses when they're not working and that's nights and weekends and stuff like that yeah um so i think it it gets glamorized a lot and it can be glamorous it's like you know i think it's a great profession and i harp on the need for real estate agents all the time um but it's easy it's easy for people to to glance over all of the hard work and stuff that goes into being a, a good one. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of people think it's easy money and it's just something you can do part time and make an extra thirty grand a year. And you know, if if you are well connected, if your family is well connected, you could do it part time and make you know a good amount of money. But I mean, if you're coming into it without those connections, it's not an easy hustle. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video as much as we liked making it, be sure to check out another one. You've got one here. You've got another one over here. If you want to listen to the podcast audio only, go check out the Spotify link in the description. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It helps us out a ton. And please hit the bell if you want notifications anytime we drop a new video. Hope to see you on the next one.